Hi everybody, Bobby from the Rabbitry Center, and today we're gonna show you how we build our rabbit gambrels. This is a small game gambrel, and it's good for um, foxes, coyotes, rabbits, and you can sell these on your website. And today we're gonna show you how we build them. It's super simple, and if you don't wanna hang this on a nail, um, say like above a shed door or a lean-to in a barn or something like that, you can simply just add a carabiner you want to get a nice tough one the good ones are a couple bucks and then you can just hang it on a hook a meat hook or you know maybe an automatic uh, hoist and that's what we're gonna actually do today so why don't you come along with us and you can see how this works how we hook it up it's really easy okay so we got a rabbit right here Move it over a little bit. And then we'll just raise it up just a touch. Get this so it's dripping in here. And what we'll first do, so you can see it's really simple. It simply just slides through the pipe and then it grips down from the weight of it clamping down. So. You want a nice pair of cutters because you're going to have to put it through this crimping sleeve and this crimping sleeve can be a pain in the butt. So this is what we're going to do. So we're going to go through the crimping sleeve and then we're going to go back through it. You want to be careful to be patient too because these wires and you want to get it even. And then we're going to take that and crimp that down. Just like this. That's it. So now what we need to do is take our pipe. We're going to go through the insides and how I like to do it is I like to look right down the pipe and try to maneuver the wire through the hole. Okay. That's one side. All right. And you wanna do all this without messing up the wires because at the very end, you gotta crimp them again. And you want them to be in good shape so you can crimp them. We have to put the sleeve on, and that's why I say it's gotta be in really good shape. Now, if your wire's messed up, you can just cut it again to get a nice clean end so you can put this crimping sleeve through it. But our wire still looks good, so. And we're just going to bend it back. Come on, baby. These, this can be difficult. There we go. And watch out, too, because you might want to wear gloves because these can be sharp. 
So I like to take it right to the end. I like to pull it down as far as I can and then I'll crimp it. That's that. There's one. is I like to push it out right to where it stops. Get it right here. I'll pull it one more time and crimp it. This crimping tool is amazing. And that's that. Okay, you guys. So there you are. That's your small game gambrel. I mean, this is good for fox, rabbit, coyote, um, you know, this is really tough. Now again, you should, probably shouldn't put a lanyard hook or anything. If you're gonna hook something to that, make sure it's a carabiner, something nice and strong, because you're really gonna be pulling down on this, especially when you pull the fur off. But you know what I like What I like about this, my favorite thing about this is it's portable. It's practically weightless. Um, it's probably less than a half a pound. And the other day it was raining, and we have a station where we do, we process all our rabbits. But when it was raining, we were able to bring this in. Be sure to add this to your products list on your website or whatever your uh, whatever your sales page is now, if you go to TSC you can purchase four feet for right around 12 13 dollars but you can get 10 feet for around seven bucks at Home Depot of uh, galvanized conduit so it's just as tough just as strong and you're gonna be better off so hope that helps you guys thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video I do this for three hours.